Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDCs, are they evil? The final step into the brave new world Orwellian Great Reset dystopia that we seem to be heading inevitably, inextricably towards? Or are they the on-ramp, or as we British call it, the slip road to the Bitcoin motorway? And the answer is both. The big issue with CBDCs is that the money is programmable. That means that the issuer can build certain rules into it. If I have a £10 note in my hand, I'm free to do pretty much what I like with it. I can put the money towards buying a house, I can give it to a beggar, I can buy booze and fags with it, or I can go to some shady part of town and buy weed. What's more, if I want to keep what I spend that money unto myself, if I want privacy in other words, I can have it. Cash grants its user with freedom. It grants its user with power. Freedom is a power. When you start using banks, you lose a certain amount of that freedom. In exchange for that loss of freedom, you get convenience. You can now safely store, receive and send over distance large amounts of money. On the other hand, the bank sets the terms of the relationship and it knows exactly how much money you've spent and received and exactly what it was spent on and who it was received from. You lose your privacy, in other words. Any large sums, the bank will usually question. It can limit how much you send in a day and in some cases prevent you sending and receiving money altogether to and from Bitcoin exchanges, for example. Programmable money, CBDCs, means that you, the user, have even less control over your money. Pretty much anything can be coded into a CBDC. China is looking at expiry dates in its CBDCs, for example. You have to spend the money by a certain time or it expires. Perhaps there's a national crisis which requires, according to the central planners, a boost of consumer spending. So an expiry gets implemented. Harsh on those who would rather save, but this is a national crisis. Money velocity can be manipulated by changing expiry dates. It could be arranged that the money won't work in certain retailers or on certain products or in certain jurisdictions. Every transaction ever made will be visible to and traceable by the all-seeing government. And should Big Brother choose to watch, he will see all. All right, Shalom. This is Harawan Ban Yasser Allah of the Lions in Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, my mother. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Nagwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, amen. Yeah, they're talking about these CBDCs, which are the central bank uh, digital currencies that they're um, bringing out to the table, man. And uh, yeah, man, it's going to be the new currency. You know, currency means um, uh, money or cash that's in circulation. All right, currency means a circuit. And right now, they have um, um, the focus is what? The SDRs. I actually spoke about this a couple of years back, about the SDRs, the special drawing rights um, that the IMF set up. Now, that basket of special drawing rights is full of different uh, nations' uh, currencies. All right. And right now, the dollar is losing value in that basket of currencies, while the while the Chinese um, yuan is is gaining um you know power because it's backed by gold, it's backed by oil and uh, CBDC uh, or cryptocurrency, you know, blockchain. Now the IMF is trying to set up a central bank in China. You see that. The whole game is changing, and it um of course you still have the central bank in America. You see what that did, you know it's it's a confliction every time because the Federal Reserve is ran by Europe and England, the Bank of England, you know the Rothschilds, and uh, then you still have the American government that's ran by the Congress, you know, and such man the Senate. So they have a lot of uh, conflictions when it comes to the, to the uh, decisions. All right, Satan divided against Satan. Now they're coming out with a central bank digital currency. To where, uh, before, you know when they when they 
came up with the banks. All right. And they started issuing bank accounts and credit cards and debit cards. Right. Every time um, anybody gets a bank account, we lose power. Just like when we go to the um, DMV and get our licenses, we lose power. You know, that's why the police can pull anybody over. They say, hey, do you have a license? Yes, you do. If it's active, they, they got they got the right to pull somebody over. All right. Commercial vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, to be sovereign, you had to you had to cancel out your license, you know, because that's where it starts at. You know, just a little key note on that point. But um, so now they have these they have the banking system to where if you you set up a bank a uh, bank account, right, it it can gain um, interest or it can lose. Uh, value every every month that is in there, you know, fractional fractional reserve currencies that these uh, shadow governments are taking out of people's bank accounts. All right, every time you go use the ATM or buy something at a register, they get money off of that. Fractional reserve currencies. All they got to do is put a, de- a period, a decimal, and add zeros to it, and they can take that much out of your account to where out of a dollar to where you won't even notice it, a fraction of it. All right. And that's how they're getting rich. They're doing that with everybody. And sweat. They call it, and also they call it sweat equity to where people pay taxes and go to work. And every time you go to work and you, you cash a, 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 um, a check, you're actually getting them richer while you're getting poorer and, and more in debt because you're cashing a check and getting promissory notes for notes that you promised to pay with your birth certificate. You know, with the banks are have gained access to, man, your bond, you know? So every time somebody casts a check, you get more in debt. You got a $1,000 check, they give you $1,000 from the bank. A thousand, a thousand promissory notes. When they're supposed to give you one promissory note saying, hey, I promise to pay this from the treasury, which is written on the dollar. So what the bank does, they take that check, they put it on a, on a pile of other checks, let it gain interest, then they put it on the market, the bond market, and they they sell it. They auction it off, man. They get tens of thousands of dollars. All right. And fractional reserve currencies or now they can transfer it over to Bitcoin and crypto. So. uh, So, yeah, man, they're setting it up now to where. uh, Because with the bank accounts, you would lose privacy, you would lose control. You wouldn't be able to make certain um, payments. At certain times of the day, if the bank wouldn't allow it, or if you overdraft, or um, you want to transfer money into another currency, or transfer to Bitcoin, you can't do it with certain banks, you know? It's just certain allowances that they don't allow, and that's control. And in, 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 um, in exchange for convenience, all right? And what's convenience? Convenience is this. It says, uh, convenience, late 14th century, an agreement a conformity, resemblance, similarity, also a state or condition of being suitable, adaptation to existing conditions, a meeting together, an agreement, a harmony. All right, so basically making things comfortable for that person. And what do they do? They say, hey, um, you get this bank account, you can go anywhere, and you can use the ATMs. You know, you can just um, keep your cash and use a card. So now certain hotels and other stores don't take cash. So you got to use a card, you know. Now they put it on the card, you got to have a chip. You see that they're, they're nudging their system into place. That's all it is. Every, they take any fraction that they can get. That's another step towards their um, new world order. All right, to where they're moving away from fiat currency. Fiat currency is floating money, liquid money. Fake, funny money, like monopoly money, paper money, all right? Gold, because even even in the, uh, the Constitution, it said money shall be known, shall not be known as a note. And on the dollar, it says a Federal Reserve note, all right? So what's that? Money is really gold and silver. And that's supposed to be a hedge against the banks, against the government. That's supposed to be a defense. Because that's what keeps you from 
losing your privacy, using your privacy of sale and commerce and bartering, you know, and uh, freedom. All right. That's why scriptures say that. Let me get that real quick. All right. This is what the scriptures say. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, right? Wisdom is a defense against the wicked, against yourself, the flesh, against this uh, wicked society and these governments. All right. Wisdom. All right. That's, that's your ultimate defense against the wiles of the devil. And it says, and money is a defense. All right. How is money a defense? Because it gives you privacy and freedom and be able to pay your rent and pay your bills. All right. But in this society, they've taken away that defense because um, of hyperinflation. All right. They're forcing everybody to pay rent. Everything is rent now. Even if you got a, a mortgage or if you um, you have a house, you know, you got to pay. You got to pay um, what's it called the mortgage will, will go up. And people had to foreclose on their homes and then they make the price cheaper and then sell it to somebody for cheap and then increase the mortgage again and then take the house from them. That's the process. That's the hustle. All right. And then you have the um, the, uh, the dollar, you know, the dollar, it, it lost value. Even though it says $20 on it, they only have a $50. Uh, uh, you, you barely see those anymore, $100 bills. But you have the $20 bill. Um, you know, even though it says twenty or a number on it, if you take it to the bank or uh put it on the market, you'll see that it, it it's not that value that's written on it. It's not even worth the paper that it's written on. All right, so all of this is a setup, and they they're doing away with that system and moving towards their new world order, their new world uh system. All right, the Great Reset. All right, so it says money shall be, and money is a defense, man. So that's a defense from a government uh, where you can uh, uh, stash your money in your house, you know, barter or, or buy and sell um, with your neighbors and you, or whatever, you know. But now through the banks, they can trace what you buy a little bit and control what you buy or when you buy. But now with this central central bank digital currency, they can program it. That's the that's the form of control now, the way they can program it and take your money off of it. And they can uh you know, you, you know, the privacy will be will be depleted, man. It'll go straight through the IMF and the special drawing rights. All right. It'll be a central bank digital currency, man. To where they can program and say, hey, you got an expiration date like China is doing. They put an expiration date on it. You got 30 days to use it. If you don't use it by then, it's, it's gone. So you got to get another one. What's that making you a slave? Have to keep going. They're going to say, hey, why go to work when you can just do this? Look at the uh, DoorDash commercials. I, I, I was going to work a boring nine to five. See that? But I decided to do this. And that's either better to do work for yourself, 1099 or whatever. But um, it's a setup at the end of the day for them to bring in their new world order. And that's what we want. So the Lord can bring judgment upon them. So, you know, being in the truth, we don't mind. But, um, yeah, man, so they, they're trying to bring in this new system to where they can put expiration dates on it, on the currency, on the money, you know, on the account. And also uh, you'll be able to put your equity from your house or your 401k on it and actually use it in Bitcoin and buy and sell, which people are going to spend like crazy, man. And they're going to, they're going to be broke. All right. They're going to be poor, man. And they're going to be able to manipulate it. And they're going to tie it to this whole Google system to where they can, um, sell off your, uh, um, you know, your information. All right, so the CB CBDCs is basically taking away all con all control and privacy and freedom from the, uh, the people and giving power to the government. And the government will be the people now. You heard Biden say it in his last speech. All right. So it says, uh, for wisdom is a defense, 
and money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. And that's the point. That's what you want, wisdom from, from above. All right. And that's the uh the excellency of knowledge. And scriptures say knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time, right? And strength of salvation. Because um the currencies is CBDCs is the slip road to Bitcoin. And that's gonna be a blockchain. All right, creating um electronic ledgers accounts for each individual and opening the door for um the microchip, mark of the beast. All right. See what the banks do, they offer what convenience. They offer you convenience saying, Hey, um, you can bank with us. We even offer you loans, we offer you credit, and credit is Credit was created to, to to do away with the barter system. You know, they try to make it for seemingly a good reason. But anyway, it's like saying, hey, man, uh, give me that cash and I'll give you credit. Now, what happened when your credit run out? You still have nothing. <laughs> it's like credit is invisible money. Shoot, it's a witch, witchcraft, dirty game they playing, man. All right, Haggai 1 and 6. But as you keep your money in the bank, you're losing value. So they said, what, it's better to put your um, money into, uh, you know, digital assets, you know, and other as forms of assets so it can gain value instead of a bank account. Haggai 1 and 6, ye have sown much and bring in little. So we work a lot and we bring in little. You go to work. And you only bring home, scriptures say you're supposed to what? Pay a person that day. So they can have a choice whether they want to come back and work or not. But in this society, they make you work, what? You get paid weekly, bi-weekly, you know? And if you did get paid during the day, one day, it wouldn't be nothing that can really help you out here. All right, because they they're giving out stimuluses to people that make hundreds of thousands of dollars. They said, um, I heard some lady speaking the other day. She said it used to take $97 to take care of a four-family household in the 50s and 60s, 1960s. But now, people with hundreds of thousands of dollars that they make annually, they are, um, they're asking for stimuluses, man. They said a guy named Jim Rickards had to get a stimulus. And he made hundreds of thousands of dollars just to pay for his housing, you know, the expensive housing that they have, man. And even now, when you pay rent monthly, Every time you renew the lease, it what it goes up. What's that doing? That's forcing everybody to have to move and migrate, and um, putting everybody in a state of of need, needing help from the government. And the government right there influencing and, and nudging everybody on, saying, "Hey, stop working. Take our stimulus. Let us take care of you." And they're gonna wean everybody into this whole uh, CBDC uh, uh, domain. All right, but as you have an account, you're losing money. Haggai 1 and 6, ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earn wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. All right, so we put into a bank account to have holes in it, man. It's all a setup. It's a scheme to rob everybody of their wealth. The dollar, it's, that's a scheme as well. You know, nobody has gold and silver. If they do, they have um, a tarnished gold or, or or fake diamonds, or they tarnish it with, with diamonds instead of just having solid, pure gold, which is more valuable. But um, a lot of these rappers, you know what I mean? They have it, but they don't know the value of it. And they spend fifty thousand, fifty thousand dollars, just on a meal, taking a woman out on a date, having fun. I was like, bro, what like the hell? You know, that's hyperinflation, man. All right, um, where people uh, can be balling out, have money, money, just throwing it all over the place, like Scrooge McDuck, because there's so many dollars printed, they don't even understand that they're caught up in hyperinflation. Hyperinflated uh, society economy. This is Matthew six and nineteen. Lay up, 
lay not up your treasures upon earth, right? We, uh, the scriptures say, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Yeah, you're going to have bank accounts, you're going to do all this, but we got, we got to learn how to manage it the correct way, even myself. But, um, you know, but the thing is, as they transfer, transition it into this new system, the scriptures tell us to watch and, and, and be circumspect, you know? Don't get, you know, don't get caught off guard. Matthew 6 and 19, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do have corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, man. Okay. That's why it's better. They say, if you don't have it in your hand, you don't own it. You keep it in the bank and it's theirs, man. They can do what they want with it. They can shut down the banks. They can do a run on banks and shut it down and people would be able to get their money. You know? Um, certain times of the night you can't use it or something go wrong they can shut it down and the CBDCs that's going to be even worse it's going to be even worse man they can they can put sanctions on you like they can, they can do a country they can sanction you like they would do uh, Iran <laughs> they can sanction you and shut down your money alright and make you homeless in a second and uh, you know and that's what they're going to do with the chip so they break through and steal. They they stealing the value of the money, as it's in the bank accounts, as it's in you know as as it is in existence. The, the robbers being the robber barons, the elites, Illuminati, over in Europe getting paid off of every dollar that's moved around in in this place. Sweat equity. Every time you go to work is making them richer. All right, and putting America more and more into debt. Scripture 21, that was scripture say, woe unto her that laden herself with thick clay. That thick clay means what? Thick uh, debt, uh, loans from from Europe. All right. And also, um, you know, uh, even if they set up the cryptocurrency, once they set up the CBDC, uh, that's just the beginning because that, that doesn't take away the debt. They still got to deal with debt. And when they, what they're going to deal with that is what? They're going to push that chip. You know, they're going to push that chip, man. Something going to happen. All right. To deal with the debt in this place. And they're going to say, hey, it can cause all those small and great, rich and poor to receive that mark because they're going to need it. They're going to say, yo, we need it. We need something in this system, this wormhole that you got us in. They're going to beg for it. That's what position they're putting them in, man. But the hopeful elect, we're gonna we're gonna hope for mercy from Yahweh Bashimel Shah and deliverance. You know, they said what? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And our heart needs to be with Yahweh Bashimel Shah. That's our treasure. Our reward is with him. But in this place, we render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. We we, we work or whatever, and um, you 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 get income or, you know. And you, you stash it, you move it around however you need to move it. But you understand that what you're going to lose in this place. All right? You earn enough money to put it in a bag with holes. This whole place is a, is a setup. We we sitting on a, we born on a board that's rigged and a game that's rigged, man. We're supposed to be players at the table, you know, in, in the game uh, with everything provided for the players but now we become the people have become played in the game instead of being the players at the table like the elites are moving and operating their piece around the board you know um their piece being their bond you know what i mean the birth certificate but they didn't teach us that in school so all of us are kind of late to it but um yeah man let me get one more scripture. All right. Ecclesiastes 20 and 10. There is a gift that shall not profit thee. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. All right. So, hey, many bank accounts or um, the stimuluses, that's a sign of a, of a, a crashing economy, giving out stimuluses to people. All right. Um, what else? Putting robots and shit in place instead of humans at work. All right, giving them that leaves people with no way to provide for themselves, taking the farms away from people, agriculture, taking their rights away. 
you know, and the CBDC, once people get that, it's going to, it's going to, um, they're going to require double from everybody for convenience. They're going to get, they're going to take freedom and privacy. All right. That's double. It says what? There is an abasement because of glory and there is he, there is that lift up his head from a lower state. There is that buyeth much for a little and repayeth it sevenfold. What's that? Taxes, man. You buy something for cheap. Everybody think everything cheap right now. But really, when you if you buy a house for cheap, next thing you know, the, the mortgage go up, the price go up. All right, because the economy or because of pandemic or whatever. You buy a car. They say, hey, why, why would you would you buy something for thirty thousand dollars? Buy a car if you had it. Well, why would you pay? I think it's Elon Musk that said it. Why would you pay um, a lease on a car that's thirty thousand dollars? See, it's, it's a it's a scam to to trap everybody. All right, that's why it's better to own. Well, if you own it, you might have to have to pay for your own uh, maintenance all the time and whatever, and and you and you'll lose convenience. All right, but of warranty and shit like that. But at the same time, you'll have your freedom. You have your privacy dealing with your car. All right, so um, that's what it means to pull away from the system. Verse fourteen. So that's what there is. He that buyeth much for a little and repayeth it sevenfold, man. You know, getting these bank accounts, getting these CBDCs. Bitcoin for a little, and watch what happened in the end. These stimuluses, the the gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou hast it. Right, Esau is a fool. Neither yet of the envious for his necessity, for he looketh to receive many things for one man, just for that one uh, convenience that they're given. We're gonna give fifteen dollars an hour. To forty-hour workers, you know, it was like that's that's Biden. But then now, all of a sudden, what they're gonna want many things for that? All right. And it says, "What he giveth a little, <laughs> they only giving a little, man. That's what they're doing, man. They ain't giving nothing to nobody. All right, they're keeping everybody poor, man, and blind and in the dark. He giveth a little. That's what the CBDC is gonna be." And upbraid of much, man. They keep all the real riches and wealth to themselves and the information. All right. And upbraid of much, he openeth his mouth like a crier. Today he lendeth. <laughs> so you got to force, they kind of forcing it from him. He, 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 today he lendeth, right? They lending. Tomorrow he will, will he ask it again? Such an one is to be hated of Yahweh and man. Okay? So it is to be hated, man. So the Lord is saying, what? Woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help. And uh, this is the time to get our minds out of this place. And, and like, um, matter of fact, I'm going to post that video. The brother Kanak, he just did a lesson. Be prepared to lose. And that's what mindset we got to be in. Being prepared to lose, man. Because, uh, these robbers, everything they they set up, and um, if they putting gold in your hand, it's because they know you on a ship, on a boat, and they, you about to sink. If they keep putting, if they giving you something, it's to destroy you. Put it like that, you know. And that's what the CBDs, CBDCs represent, man. A central bank digital currency is basically programmable money, to where they can program it how they want it. Imagine having that. You have a $20 bill in your pocket and they just program they manipulating the market now to Wall Street but now they can just program the currency which means it gives them straight control power over everything they don't have to ask no more they don't have to go through Congress Senate nothing they just say hey this is what it is and you gotta get the chip now <laughs> alright so hey man with that I'm gonna say uh, stay circumspect and uh, shalom